So not a fishing video, but it is fishing related. Uh, my uncle just turned 79 years old and he can't fish anymore, he's got bad arthritis, so he's decided to give me his two of his rods and one of his reels. So I thought I'd just do a real quick video showing uh, what he's given us. It's two beach casters and one multiplier reel. And I really love uh, old vintage fishing gear because it's built to last and I just really like it. So I just thought I would show you what he's given us because I think it's pretty awesome. So I'll start off with this rod first. This rod is definitely one that's going to be shown in future videos. It's unnamed. Or it doesn't have any brand Morgans or anything on it. So I don't know who makes it or where it's made. But uh, it's a 12 foot uh, beach caster. Guessing it's cane. Got a nice cork handle on it. Really nice old school reel seat. In a really long butt section made of cork and the guides are all steel it's a very nice rod and like I say I love these old school vintage rods actually I say it's cane, it might be a uh, Looking at this section here, it looks a bit like carbon fibre. I'm not 100% sure. But, uh, yeah, that's the first rod I wanted to show. So, the second rod. has Castaway and Mogo this rod is going to be a big restoration project uh, the tip ring is completely snapped off and uh, pretty much all of the rings really have snapped off Bought from that one there and one right at the very bottom and besides that those are the only rings that are still on here but besides the rings the rod itself is very solid nicely built cork handles This one's a bit different. It's actually got a finger groove section at the bottom. And the real seat's slightly different. It's a full on screw. So that's going to be a bit of a restoration project. I think I'll tackle it this winter when I've got nothing else on. If I can track down some other rings like this and see if I can fix these busted rings. But uh, yeah, that's the other rod again. It's a castaway. Don't know who makes it. But there's the trademark Marco. I don't know how old it is. But uh, yeah, that's the rod. So here's the reel. It's Naboo Ambassador 7000. Looks like it was an originally level wind, which he's took off. 
and it's in really good condition. A few chips of lost paint here and there. Little chunks taken out of it. But uh it's been a working reel, it's not been a collector's item or any of that. It's actually been used and I'm going to continue to use it so yeah I've actually been wanting a Boo Garcia for a while now I just haven't been able to justify buying one because I've got the uh, Akuma Magnetex in the slush reel so I've stayed away from buying a a boo reel but he's actually given us one so yeah I'm gonna be using this in future videos like I say it's a bit beat up but uh, it is a user so I'm not gonna baby it So that's just a really quick video that I wanted to do showing two vintage rods that I've just gotten today in a nice little reel from my uncle. I can't believe he's turned 79 and he's just decided to give up on fishing. I really hope at 79 I can continue fishing but uh, yeah that's one usable rod that I've got now that I'll be showing in future videos and the red one is going to be a quick restoration project which I'll hopefully be using in future videos as well and the reel I'll definitely be using in future videos it's a really nice clean looking reel apart from the chips and the paintwork but besides that, it's pretty solid. I'm in Switzerland, so what do you expect? Things built like a tank. So that's just a real little quick video I wanted to do. Thanks for watching. Tight lines, everyone. And hope you all have a great day.